Hey guys, how's it going? So I've recently switched to Microsoft Edge browser that's based on Chromium on my PC and the overall experience has been great. I mean the fresh UI and the overall less load on my resources is a great tool but the fact that all my extensions from Chrome directly work on Microsoft Edge is an added plus point. Which is why I decided to actually make a video about it because all those extensions can really boost up and enhance your overall web browsing experience. Hey guys, this is Varun from Guiding Tech and today I'll be talking about 7 super cool Microsoft Edge extensions that you should install right now to enhance your daily web browsing. Let's get started. Okay, so we've all been there when we're searching for something on Google or Bing, if you're one of those guys. And when the search results come, you right click on it, open it in a new tab, see whether it's what you want or not. If it's not, you close it, go back to the search results and the cycle continues on and on and on. But what if there was an easier way around it? Enter URL render. So the way this extension works is by showing you the website at the search results page itself, thus eliminating the need to open new tabs. All you have to do is search for your stuff and just hover on top of the link and like magic, the website will load in a smaller dialog. Now you can use the controls on top to change the size, reposition it or dock it in the corner. It's so simple and it makes everyday web browsing super easy. Okay, now this next extension is for those of you guys working in the office. See, it's fine to watch something that's not related to your work to relax yourself, be it a comedy video or a funny video or just reading something that cheers you up or calms you down. But well, the thing is, your boss might not agree with that. And for that, we have the panic button. So what this extension does is that it hides away all your currently open tabs at one click. Another click and you can restore them like nothing happened. Now the way it works is that it saves all the tabs open in a separate bookmark folder and then relaunches them. Also, instead of clicking, you can just press the F4 key on your keyboard to do this process as well. Speaking of extensions to use at work, this next one is super handy and is easily targeted at people like me who can get distracted super easily. So my colleagues know that whenever I get a new notification on Twitter, I just look at it, open my Twitter and just lose myself over there, losing all focus. That's where go fucking work comes in. At its core, it's a simple extension to help you focus on work. You list out the domains that you want to block and turn it on when you get to work. It will automatically block out all those websites. But the way it does it is what makes it so dope. Have a look for yourself. Yeah, it's kinda aggressive, but you gotta do what you gotta do to push yourself, you know? I'm just saying. Okay, so right off the bat, Microsoft Edge actually presents you with some pretty cool options to customize that new tab page, which is great. But for someone like me, well, I prefer a balance between focus and minimalism and that's where momentum comes in. It's a super simple extension. All it does is replace the new tab page with a soothing background that changes frequently, a nice quote to motivate you along with a daily focus to do below it. There's also a weather widget in the corner as well and the whole setup actually looks pretty calming. Now I'm serious, there have been times where I've been super pissed off and I just open a new tab on my Microsoft Edge browser and this momentum page really calms me down. Call me moody but that works for me and it should make for an easy recommendation. Moving on, I have to say that this next extension is absolutely critical for me. You already know about it and if you don't, you should. It's called Pushbullet and it's truly awesome. So you install the extension on your browser, sign into it and then do the same on your smartphone as well. Now you can easily share links, send messages, even share files to and fro without any hassles. And not only that, Pushbullet will also mirror all your smartphone notifications inside your browser for you so you know when to access your phone and when to just stay focused on the screen in front of you. Add to that, you can actually communicate with other systems using Pushbullet as well, which is super great. Now we've all been there when we want to capture what's in front of us in our screen and while Microsoft offers a native screenshot tool in Windows, it's not actually that good. I mean, it cannot capture the full page, right? That's where Nimbus comes in. So Nimbus is an all-in-one screen capture tool that you can use to take screenshots as well as record your screen. 
you can take the entire page or a custom selection and then annotate it easily as for screen recordings you can record a page or even record your webcam if you want to now while there are certain features reserved behind a paywall i feel that the free version should be more than enough for anyone out there speaking of recorders we recently did a video talking about the best screen recorders that are absolutely free that you can use on your windows pc so make sure you check that video out from the link in the description box below Okay so lastly is an extension that i use super extensively and not just for work but for daily web browsing as well and it's called grammarly setting it up is simple log into it and select the language you type in thereafter grammarly will automatically check whatever you're typing now it exceeds the normal dictionary check function inside your browser since it checks the entire sentence for tenses and other grammatical mistakes too add to that the extension recently got the auto correct feature as well the saving you time and swiftly fixing all your errors and if that's not all there's another option in the settings that you can enable to just double click on a word and let grammarly show you its meaning now isn't that amazing and well with that we come to an end of this video as always you can find the download links to all of these extensions in the description box below Also some of these extensions like momentum might get disabled even after installing because edge does not want other extensions to interfere with its basic interface but then again you can easily enable them from the settings if you like this video make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome tech content till then this is one from guiding tech and i'll see you in the next one